Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a volcano update Monday, December 21st, at around noon mountain time. Well, the great conjunction does not disappoint. Kilauea volcano experiencing a new eruption as we speak, putting 186,000 people at risk due to ashfall and other potential struggles, including tsunami. No tsunami warnings issued, but there has been seismic activity on the south flank that could potentially cause landslides into the ocean and future tsunamis during this eruption. So Kilauea volcano, uh, the background preceding the activity, a week ago we uh, reported on a magma intrusion in this area and warned of an ongoing eruption that is potential and certainly we had it. We, the eruption began last evening, followed by some seismic activity, and it is currently ongoing. That's not the only volcano waking up. Etna has a new paroxysm from the southeast crater, quite substantial. Sabinkaya to 24,000 and Kluchyskov to 25,000. So volcanic uptick, to say the least. And here we have some information directly from the Big Island. Take a listen. Kilauea is erupting once again. The summit eruption started suddenly at approximately 9.30 p.m. on Sunday evening during a brief earthquake swarm that shook the south side of the caldera. Multiple fissures opened on the walls of the crater and lava cascaded into the summit water lake, boiling it away. A new lava lake then began forming at the base of the crater. Accordingly, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory elevated the volcano alert level to a warning and its aviation color code to red. A short time after the eruption began, a larger earthquake, Measuring at a magnitude 4.4 shook the south flank of the volcano and was... Now, these are the earthquakes that we're worried about. When they get close to the edge here, they could trigger... This is a steep uh, cliff here into the ocean. They could trigger a sloughing event into the ocean and create quite a massive tsunami. So that's the major uh, worry for the people living on the coast here is that seismic activity would cause a landslide and then subsequent tsunami. This is an ongoing event. And this is part of the dangers happening with this eruption currently. ...felt across the Big Island. The Hawaii County Civil Defense issued this radio message. This is a civil defense message. This is a local earthquake message for Sunday, December 20th. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports an eruption at the Halima'uma'u crater of the Kilauea volcano. Trade winds will push any embedded ash toward the southwest. Fallout is likely in the Kau District, in Wood Valley, Pahala, Nalehu, and Ocean View. Stay indoors to avoid ash exposure. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center reports that the earthquake, which occurred at approximately 10.36 p.m. in the vicinity of south flank of Kilauea, was not large enough to cause a tsunami for Hawaii Island. I say again, there is no tsunami threat to the island of Hawaii. Photos and webcam images showed a towering cloud lifting over the area of the new eruption. The cloud even appeared to be visible from the telescopes on Mauna Kea, where south-facing webcams captured a view of the summit glow. At 12.21 a.m., the National Weather Service posted a message saying that all available data indicate that the eruption was easing with just a low-level steam cloud lingering. Civil Defense told them that no ashfall was observed near and downwind of the crater, including on Highway 11. They said the eruption may have been primarily comprised of steam. By early Monday morning, scientists were already posting videos of the new activity. One of the fountains within the crater was reported to measure 165 feet tall. HVO quickly published this map, which was constructed from aerial photos in September, but marked up to show the locations of the new activity. Red spots are the approximate locations of fissure vents feeding lava flowing into the bottom of the volcano crater. The scientists noted occasional blasts of uncertain origin are occurring from the new lava lake surface. This is the first eruption at Kilauea in over two years. Things have been mostly quiet ever since the destructive events on the Lower East Rift Zone in the summer of 2018. In recent weeks, however, scientists have been recording ground deformation and earthquake rates at the volcano's summit and Upper East Rift Zone that have exceeded background levels observed since the last eruption. The situation is rapidly evolving and HVO says it will issue another statement when more information is available. Absolutely awesome. Thank you, Big Island News. We love your footage. And I hope you got something out of the video. Kilauea is uh, beginning a new eruptive phase, and we're going to be keeping a close eye on it and reporting it like no one else. Once again, Kilauea has begun a new eruptive phase just a few days before Christmas. Happy holidays. Be safe. We love you. Stay out of the ash, kids. It's not safe.
That's a boom.